How to manage massive scenes? I built my scenes out of Gribble bits. These are the unique objects which I put together to build complex looking worlds. In this example, I will be using a little wooden pier and a market stall. Move these two objects into a collection by pressing M and call it Gribble bits. Create a new collection via the outliner and call it Instance Source and move the Gribble bits collection into it. It's easier for me to keep the final scene collection and the source files separate. Create a linked copy of your Gribble bit via Alt D and move it into its own collection. Let's call it Peer01. That collection is again put into the Instance Source collection. Create another few linked copies of the Peer object and move rotate them around to your liking. This will be the last collection in which I place individual objects. Note the copy and paste magic begins. Hide all collections. Make sure you have selected the Instance Source collection in the outliner and add an instance collection via the Shift A add menu. Select Peer01. This creates an instance, kind of an empty which pretends to be your collection of peers. You cannot directly edit collection instances, but that makes them also very performant in the viewport and rendering. Copy and paste it around with Shift D to create something larger out of it. At some point there will be too many instances in the collection to be manageable. It's in time to repeat the entire process. So again, select all your peer or one collection instances and put them into a new collection. I call this one then something with group. In this case, peer group or one. Then I create new collection instances, this time of the peer group and rotate them around to make it look a bit more chaotic. This was then the last layer of instances. To wrap it up, I put these three instances into the last collection, calling it peer cluster or one. Time to actually build the scene. Click in the outliner on the scene collection and create a new collection. Call it scene. In there, at the last collection, the peer cluster one and create a shoreline. I quickly added a plane with a water material to make it look a bit more grounded. Don't hesitate to flip the instances around or even mirror them. All that build up for the final reveal, go back to your Gribblebit collection and create a linked duplicate of the market stall. Move it into the peer or one collection and place it where it makes sense and duplicate a few times more. If you flick through all of your collection instances and back to the scene, you can see that you have now hundreds of huts in the right places. And this is how you create and maintain massive scenes in no time. If you have ideas on more tutorials, please let me know in the comments.